launch the cutting application. The window shows the cutting area, the zero point, and the current location of the laser. Open your file. The software supports multiple file formats, but in terms of scale, the DXF format is the most useful. Save your DXF file in a slightly older format, then it normally loads just fine. The software will ask you to edit the new job, click Edit. If your drawing is in millimeters, just click OK. If not, use the scale factor to change the size of your drawing. Now select individual parts. Right click and assign your selection to either the engrave layer or the through cut layer. The parts will change color depending on what layer they are assigned to. If your drawing already has the engrave layer and the through cut layer, the software will use those. This is useful if your drawing has many parts. Next, select a material from the list. I'll be cutting 1.5 mm cardboard. Close the drawing and save it. The drawing is now placed in the cutting area. Before cutting, we need to set a zero point for the laser. Click and hold the left mouse button on the cutting area to move the laser to that point. You can adjust the position by using the arrow keys too. A red laser dot on your material indicates the physical zero point. Set the zero point by clicking the icon in the bottom panel. The drawing is moved to the zero point. To start laser cutting, just click the play button. If you zoom in on your drawing, you can follow the cutting progress. Green means the part is already cut. Yellow means the part is being cut right now, and red means the part has not yet been cut. When laser cutting is completed, the screen will return to its initial layout, and the laser will move to its parking position. Should you need to, you can pause the cutting anytime, change the parameters in the panel to the right, then resume cutting with the new settings.